What if I told you the most dangerous aircraft of the 20th century wasn't built by NASA, but by two desperate brothers in a German garage while their country burned? February 1945. The Third Reich is days from collapse. Yet in the skies over Gotha, a ghost appears. It has no tail. It has no propellers. It screams like a banshee. This is the Horton Ho 229, a plane built from sawdust and glue designed to do the one thing the Allies thought was impossible, vanish from radar. Hermann Goering demanded a miracle, a bomber that could carry 1,000 kilos, fly 1,000 kilometers at 1,000 kilometers per hour. Physics said it couldn't be done. But Reimar and Walter Horton didn't care about physics. They cared about speed. They stripped away the fuselage, the tail, the drape. They built a pure flying wing. And because Germany had no metal left, they built it out of plywood. December 1944. Test pilot Erwin Ziller ignites the twin Jumo jet engines. He isn't just flying a plane, he's riding a wooden bomb sitting on top of one 500-degree fire. He takes off. He outruns the fastest fighters in existence. For a moment, it looks like Germany has changed the war. But on February 18th, silence. An engine fails. Without a tail to correct the spin, the wonder weapon becomes a coffin. Ziller crashes, the wood shatters. The pilot burns with the dream. The wreckage was captured by the US. Everyone thought it was just a crude, desperate prototype. They were wrong. In 2008, stealth engineers rebuilt it. They discovered the glue was mixed with charcoal dust. It wasn't just for bonding, it absorbed radar waves. Had this plane flown in numbers, it would have cut the British warning time from 19 minutes to just eight. The Horton brothers were on the wrong side of history, fighting for a regime of evil. But inside that garage, they reached 40 years into the future and stole a secret. The B-2 spirit you see today isn't new. It's the ghost of 1944 finally coming home.